went to Hebrew school uh, for five years, was bar mitzvahed, uh, kept all the holidays. Holidays were very important to us. I remember when I told my mother that I was a believer in Jesus, uh, she was kind of shocked. Uh, but my brother and I sat down and uh, spoke to her from the Bible, and my, my mother became a believer in Jesus. Back at that time, in 1972, there were a lot of us young Jews who were coming to faith in Jesus, and we started an organization, or actually a movement, called Jews for Jesus. Well, you know, after a five-year involvement with Christianity, it took a lot of studying and, and research to finally realize that I'd made a very big mistake in accepting Christian belief. I was left with the problem of the Holocaust, six million Jews who, according to Christianity, because they didn't believe in Jesus, were burning in hell forever. And the paradox that Hitler himself, if he... Uh, repented before he died and accept Jesus into his heart, he could be sitting at the right hand of God. That really created a problem for me. It just seemed to be a natural consequence that in 1989, I established in Toronto a Toronto branch of Jews for Judaism, which is a North American network of counter-missionary activists that deal in combating deceptive missionaries who are trying to convert Jews to Christianity. Please feel free to throw it in the garbage. This is Christian missionary literature that this woman has the audacity to hand out at a Jewish bazaar. Please feel free to throw it in the garbage. The pamphlets contain information about Jesus, who we believe is the Messiah of Israel. We believe he is the one that the prophets spoke of, that Moses spoke of, and that all Jews need to believe in him. He's the only way to salvation for Jews and Christianity. Some people here, a lot of people are very interested, a lot of people want to know more They are trying to convert Jews to Christianity. You know, only God can convert. That's right. And, you know, there are Jewish people who believe in Jesus. Christians often ask after. Jewish people, well, how would we ever recognize the Messiah? And basically, uh, it's, it's the one event in human history which is impossible to miss. Uh, anyone that looks out the window or reads the New York Times will, will be able to readily see that there's been a major change in the world, which the Bible describes as a time when the entire world will believe in God and a time when there'll be no more human strife, when war and hatred and suffering will cease from the earth. There's a lot of evidence from the scripture that substantiates that Jesus fulfilled many of the messianic prophecies, the predictions of the coming of the Messiah. Ani ma'ani, I believe in perfect faith that in the fullness of time, that the Father sent forth His Son to be conceived by the Holy Spirit within the womb of the Virgin, as Isaiah foretold. A virgin will conceive and bear a son. I believe with perfect faith that the triune God, blessed be His name, knows all the actions and thoughts of human beings. I believe with perfect faith that it is For believers in their own lives, uh, God answers prayer. Uh, and he's there uh, to meet us in our hour of need. Becoming a believer in Yeshua, it's like uh, meeting a, uh, an old friend that you never knew. People are told that Jesus will take care of their personal problems, money problems, health problems. Another important part of the recruitment process is often called love bombing, where people are immediately presented with a, with a completely accepting and loving group that uh, really caters to people who might be lonely or people seeking instant friendships. There are many different ways we go about uh, spreading the message uh, by meeting the friends and relatives of, uh, of believers, inviting them out here to our services, just befriending people. The bottom line technique used by Hebrew Christian groups is to uh, alleviate any guilt some person might have by accepting the Christian faith by making them feel that what they're doing somehow is consistent with Judaism. You know, it was interesting when I, when I went to this congregation, 
uh, the first time I was very much impressed why, how nothing in this particular group seemed to appear Christian. Belief uh, in Jesus uh, is not a, a Gentile or Christian uh, concept. The belief in Jesus is a, is a very Jewish belief. Um, Jesus was a Jew. Um, his mother was Jewish. His father was Jewish. And it was in the New Testament that I realized that the first followers of Jesus were Jews and that I was not doing anything wrong. Uh, the, the Jewish Bible delineates God's uh, plan for the Jewish people and it's God's instructions for how Jewish people are to live. You see from the Bible that God allows Gentiles to eat certain foods that the Jewish people are prohibited. By becoming a Christian, they're entering a system which basically pulls them away from the kind of life God would have them live. If I met with an observant Jew who became a believer, I would instruct him that he is not obligated to keep those laws anymore. But I would also instruct him he could still continue keeping those laws. But he must realize by keeping the laws, he does not gain any more brownie points in the eyes of God. Feel free to throw it in the garbage. Actually, she, she can use yours. Miss, that's Christian missionary Jesus. literature she's given you. We're Jews for Jesus. Christian missionary literature. Feel free to throw it in the garbage. Jew as well as this is Christian missionary literature that this is. He's woman either is the Messiah out. for all or he's the Messiah for none. This woman is handing out Christian missionary literature. They're an anti missionary group, and quite honestly, they do our cause a great service because if the gospel was not having an impact upon the lives of Jewish people, uh, there wouldn't be a need for this anti-missionary group. I think that if Jews knew how to respond to the question, why be Jewish, then we probably wouldn't have the problem we have today. You mean my wife? Claire? Carol Jones? Why shouldn't a Jew believe in Jesus? Because believing in Jesus, whether you're Jewish or whether you're a Gentile, is a matter of faith. What I'm just trying to say is if she was willing to have a discussion with somebody and be rational about it. She's refused to discuss it. And what I'm trying to say is this woman has made an uninformed decision when she accepted Christianity. Okay, Carol, how would you like to have a